Hey guys, what's going on? Um, using the camera again, my, my Canon T2i. Um, just because I actually got a tripod. My dad actually had an old one, uh, and it's compatible with my uh, with my digital camera. So I was like, you know what? Let me uh, rearrange. Uh, you know, not really, really rearrange, but I'll rearrange. I guess in the sense of um, I, I use the word again. Uh, just you know, change up the layout of, of you know where you guys usually see me. Usually you just see me right over here on my. Uh, you guys can't see it, but you usually just right on my quick capture and my, my bedroom in the back. But I decided to do the uh, generic, um, you know, game video with, with my stuff in the background. Um, I got my Wii and my, you know, my, mostly my retro stuff and more down here where you can't see is all my new stuff. Uh, so I figured I would just do that. You know, why not? Maybe it'll get me more subscribers. Um, so anyway, this is going to be a little, just more of just an update and a recent pickups. I don't have enough stuff really to do a whole recent pickups uh, episode and I'm not going to be um, picking up anything. Um, I'm trying to, to really kick the habit of just buying games for, for really no reason. Um, I'm going to buy stuff that I actually do want to play, and um, when I do get stuff that I do want to play, I will um, you know, show you guys. Um, so it might be more sporadic. I might just you know, do maybe like a weekly update. If I, if I bought anything, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys. And if not, uh, that's it. Um, not a whole lot has been going on on my channel lately. Um, but I'm actually going to start, um, since I have the new camera um, and I have the tripod now, I'm going to be doing more video reviews, but not video capturing. Uh, I just hate all that stuff, taking out my capture card and whatnot. Uh, so I just decided I'm just going to videotape the screen. Um, it's it's good enough quality that I, I can actually pull it off. So anyway, um, I'm not going to try. I'm going to try and keep this video short because I'm not sure how long this, this camera actually uh, records for. So, um, the, first, the games that I've picked up recently and the stuff that I've been playing. Um, first off, I got for $5 off of uh, Game TZ, I got uh, Sega Superstars Tennis. Um, I haven't played this yet, but I do like tennis games. I like tennis video games. Um, and, you know, the, the Sega... Um, and I, heard, I heard good stuff about it, and uh, I like, you know, the Mario tennis games. So, just to have the Sega characters, you know, I see, uh, you know, obviously Sonic and, and the, the cast from there. But I actually also see um, the Space Channel 5 people... Uh, the girl, um, I see the the thing from Samba de Amigo, um, Monkey Ball, the, the guy or girl from uh, Jack Ryan Radio. So it's pretty cool to have um, that collection of uh, of you know characters playing tennis. So it's pretty cool. And I see, I think Knights from Knights into Dreams is there. So that's that. Um, and I also picked. I actually traded. Um, what was it? I, it was um, shit. It was. Uh, Nice of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lords, on the Xbox, and I, I traded it for uh, Dragon Age Origins. I actually bought this a couple weeks ago from GameStop, never played it, and, and returned it. Um, I don't really know why, but, um, and then I, I picked this up, uh, you know, in a trade, because I wasn't going to play, I started playing uh, KOTOR 1 and didn't like it, so I'm not going to play the second game. So I was like, you know what, this is a game that I will try and hopefully will like, and uh, if I can trade it for a game I'll never play, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Okay, uh, next up is actually a, uh, it was a digital download, actually this is a little too high, I'm going to lower it. And uh, the next game was a digital download, and because uh, uh, I'm a PlayStation Plus user, um, or member, or customer, or whatever, uh, I was able to, uh, to download, and, well, purchase, and then download um, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, it was only $5. So I was like, you know what, let me, let me check it out, it was only, like I said, it was only 5 bucks. It's good, um, it, the controls for me are a little stiff. But um, it, it's a good, you know, it, it feels really old school and just like a classic, you know, beat 'em up or brawl or whatever. And uh, it's it's good. A lot of people really liked it. I don't know if I if I really like it, but um, maybe because I'm not a fan of the source material. Um, I not that I'm not a fan. I just never read it. Um, but it, it's decent. I'm having some fun with it. And um, next after that, I picked up Little Big Planet Two. Uh, I reviewed it on uh, TVandLost.net, and I'm probably gonna do a video review of it for for my channel um, probably tomorrow. And um, it's it's really good. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, you know, there's I love the first one, and um, it's more the same, I guess, in a sense. But with adding on, like on top of that, it's uh, it's vastly different. Um, it just you know it, it the one of the the selling you know the the bullet points on the box is play new genres, and and you can definitely do that. I mean, I played some side scrolling shoot 'em ups. I've played you know just like action type games. I've played just there's just a lot of different stuff. I know there's like RPG stuff in here from people who've made levels. And stuff like that. So there's just a lot of new stuff on top of the new, oh, on top of the old stuff, and everything from the first game transfers into this. So if you have a profile, if you played the first one, and you uh, you have, like I said, you have a profile, it's gonna up update into that. So uh, every, all your your costumes, everything you've unlocked from the first game is compatible with the second game, and everything is actually uh, looks better because you know the two looks a lot better than one, not a lot better, but it looks better than one, and so that's really cool. 
Um, all the, the user created levels are compatible with two from the first game, so that's on top of that, it's awesome. I mean, there's over three million levels, it says on the box. Um, so that's insane. I, 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 you know, put, you know, put my toes in the water, I guess, of, of creating a level. It's very, very difficult. And, you know, I, I, I suggest everyone give it a try, because then you can at least, um, you know, have a better appreciation for, for the levels that people out there create. Um, that's half the fun, is just finding good levels from people who, in the, you know, in the Little Big Planet 2 community who made levels, who took the time to do that. Some of them are fantastic, you know, some of them are duds, but the, the good thing with the second game, as opposed to the first game, you don't have to sift through the garbage to find new stuff, uh, to find the good stuff. Uh, you can rate levels like the first one, but then they, they, um, they collect, like, the top-rated levels, and you can, uh, you can just play those, and I've had a blast. It's, it's so fun. So, I uh, definitely recommend um, Little Big Planet 2 if you have a PlayStation 3. Uh, the last two games I've been playing, uh, these, are, these aren't new, but I've just been playing them. Uh, I picked up, like, uh, probably about a month ago, Legend of the Hero, Legend of, the Legend of Heroes on the PSP. It's just your basic um, RPG. I'm about, like, four or five hours into it, probably. I'm liking it, but um, there's some stuff I don't like. It has terrible controls. I mean, like, it's so hard to just try and talk to somebody or open up a chest or something like that. Um, and it's, it's just very basic. I don't mind the basicness of it. It's a very traditional RPG. Um, but, you know, I know a lot, if you're really into RPGs, you probably won't like this. It's, it's probably too um, intro or whatever. But I like it. I just like traditional RPGs, just, you know, turn-based stuff. So I'm liking it. And then, as you guys know, Little Big, uh, Little Big Planet, uh, Dead Space 2 came out. So I thought now would be a better time, more, you know, the better time than ever to actually finish the first game. So I've been playing this one. I restarted it probably about two months ago and then stopped again. And then I just picked up from there. I'm about like two hours in so far. I'm liking it. It's chapter three, and um, yeah, it's just really good. If if two is anything like this, the first, and I heard it is, I'm definitely gonna like it. So I figure by the time um, I'm done with this, I'll probably be able to pick up Dead Space Two for like thirty or thirty-five dollars off Game TZ, and uh, that's it. I want, like I said, I want to keep this video uh, to a you know short because I don't know how long this actually tapes for, and uh, I'm gonna do a, a little bit Planet Two. I, you know, what, I, might, I might really call it reviews. Well, this one might be. I'm just gonna do like little quick looks and just uh, you know give my thoughts on the games just with my camera. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please. And I'll see you guys soon.